Oh, I'm back, and my God, did that I had me hostage. Oh, I was trying to make a joke in from like referencing the YouTuber Devil out in this. <laughs> also, gotta apologize. I was away for a month because I was sick. I had work, and a whole lot of things just got in the way. But my God, I came back today, and in today, and oh my God, there were so many changes. Let's see. Let's start off with something. Let's see. All the melee weapons got changed, so I'm starting with my baby. Everyone always loved the Glaive Prime, and very rarely did I see the Serata ever get used, but damn, it might be worth picking it up now. Still got the classic dual wield. Let's see. In terms of stats, you're looking at the same old 50% chance, but if we flick over to an unspill, base stays chance is 30%, and it's the, bigger, the biggest change, like, it's... Supplemental stat wise, it always had the same stats as Glaive Prime, but when you. It only had toxic damage at base originally. Now look at this 30% impact. Eh. 57.4 puncture. Ooh, ooh. 83.0 slash. Oh, I'm gushing. So when we go back to my build, we're look like. Spill wise, we've got the usual Astral Twilight. Virulent Scourge, Vicious Frost for Viral Damage. Used to be gas because, damn, the gas overload on this thing was ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, I am not joking. This thing shredded with, even with gas. But now that it can do Viral and Slash, who the hell cares? I might even just use gas for a meme. <laughs> and moving on, we got Drifting Contact for Combo Duration Status Chance. Then, like, I will sh I'll showcase this with Organ Shatter. But for now, I want to see how this baby will do with my Riven. This baby. Serata Visitus. 299.7% melee damage. 154.2% critical damage. But minus 29% damage to Grenier, which, in all honesty, I did not notice. Got your advice for attack speed. Like that, your vice and berserker, I should say. Correction. Whoops. <laughs> then we have Blood Rush, which has its new change, but I barely noticed it. <laughs> and last but not certainly not least, Condition Overload. This thing got a nerf, but I ain't complaining. Let's see. I mean, I'm not complaining about the nerf to Condition Overload, but eh, if it still can shreds like this, I don't care. <laughs> Oh, that integer! <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, I got. Since it's a glaive, gotta try this with the dual wielding. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Oh, shit. Shit. Still shred. Still shred. Still shred. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I might have to dial back the attack speed. That was crazy. Alright. Just for the sake of the video, uh, I am going to drop this. And I've got just enough mod capacity to throw on Organ Shatter. And, ooh, I still have 11. Let's see, what can I swap here? I think... I will swap it with Buzzkill just because it's got an insane amount of slash already. Dropping the the tap might cost me, but all right, ramp it up. It has a bit of a ramp up, but this is a cold start in the semi alarm room. But they're way different from gameplay. Ho ho ho! Now, I'm only gonna fit two in this video, but I'm gonna showcase one more weapon that I I held desperately onto a ribbon for in the hopes that melee changes would really buff it. Where are you? Uh, ah, Machete Wraith. This was like, it was okay before. I could make a condition overload build would work with this, but now look at the stats. Set. Chance, as you can see there, I haven't touched crit chance, but we flick over to an unused build, 33% status chance, and that 
bucket load of slash. <laughs> Build wise, we've got Cyclone Kraken, and for the rest of the, like stunt, like honestly, I still can't touch the other stance, which was I think oh, I can't remember. Let's see, Sundering Wave. Yeah, I can't touch Sundering Wave with a ten foot pole. Maybe it changed. I'm gonna try that later, but right now, go go with my oldie but goldie Soul Cyclone Kraken. In terms of the rest of the build, we have Virulent Scourge and Vicious Frost with Viral Damage. Obligatory for something that with insanely high slash. <laughs> and status for that matter. Then we have Blood Rush because 19% status chance can make a crit build work. Drifting Contact for combo duration and extra status chance. Then we have Organ Shatter for the critical damage. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Condition Overload, obligatory for a status weapon. Prime Fury, eh, I might swap this out for Berserker. Depends, depends. And Prime Pressure Point for obligatory melee damage. I, wait, I'm sure I had a ribbon. Unless I moved, unless I got rid of it. But, damn. As far as I'm aware, they haven't changed the disposition of any melee weapon. So, Machete Wraith might, a Machete Ribbon might definitely be worth pick. Actually, no, it's definitely worth picking up. Definitely, because I have a strong disposition. Let's try this baby out. You're done, Bombard. You're done! Oh, take it out of here! Oh, 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 oh. Sorry if that's loud. I'm still just like resetting, resetting my mic for the recording. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! That was nasty. Just doing nasty. Ah, huh. only six minutes. Only seven minutes fast. Oh, you know what? Screw it. I'll try and squeak in one more weapon. Let's see. What other baby did I use that I, I actually do have a ribbon for? I. I think I have a ribbon for one in particular. Did I have a skin to ribbon? Cause this thing got some nasty changes. Nope. I'll go I'll go I'll definitely be showcasing Skin to Prime at some point, because that was an old meta, replaced by Galatine Prime and then eventually Grand Prime. Oh yes, yes. Just yes, the Tombo. This was my baby. My baby of pole arms. It wasn't the strongest, but oh it could shred. Let's see, build. Mod wise, we've got Shimmering Blight. I did have the stance changed to a dash for, um, well, uh, I keep forget I've forgotten the stance, um, Twirling Spire, but I'd since gone back to Shimmering Blight. Built mod wise, we got Vicious Frost and Virulent Scourge for viral damage, Prime Fury for attack speed, Drifting Contact for combo duration and status chance, Prime Reach, Prime Pressure Point, and Condition Overload. Obligatory mods for this, because Condition Overload is just really great on the Tombo. Prime Pressure Point for melee damage, Prime Reach for range. And then we have my Riven here, which is most Ski Visitor? I cannot pronounce that. S which adds Slash, Melee, and Electricity, but for the sake of this, adios! And we will s instead swap it for... Let's see, where are you? So, like, considering I would need an extra Multiplier, we'll add Voltaic... Actually, no, we'll add Volcanic Edge for some Heat Damage, bringing the status chance up to 80%. So, let's see. Initially, with max rank prime breach, this thing only had a range of about 5 meters. I want to see its range first. Seven meters! Alright, and the damage- Oh, that is nasty! That is just nasty! Oh, 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 oh. I gotta get, like, seven meters? Let, let's just pause the AI for a sec. Uh, Alright, waypoint you. Nine meters? No, eight. Seven. Okay. Okay, seven to six. Six to seven, but. Oh! Whoa. With stealth? Nasty. You know what? Screw it. I have not seen this thing with my, with my ribbon. So. You're getting to see Riven and non-Riven builds here, mate. And this isn't even ideal. If I were to change, have anything with this, I would buff it, uh, like, change this to slash melee damage or status chance with some, uh, in, like, slash status chance and range. Like, what, those three stats I could add right away. It's like, along with any extras, like, slash damage, melee damage, like, as two as, as obligatory, 
pl plainly shown here, then we have it's like other potentials would probably be likely be attack speed, so I could just swap drop Prime Fury and add another dual stat. There are so many things you could do with Tombo, though I wish the crit chance was slightly better, and then that would open the door to Blood Rush and that, but Tombo, worth it. Freaking worth it, especially since it's only MR3. The Guan Dao is access to MR4, and this baby's unlocked at 3. 3. So, this thing, well, actually, am I wrong? Let me, let me quickly double check. Oh, I'm so rusty with, I just, my memory will, let's see. Uh, about, what was, yeah, Mastery Rank 3. So, yeah. If you haven't got the Tombow, and you can, like, this thing's easier to get a hold of than the Guan Dao, if I remember correctly. So, do yourself a favor, pick this baby up. This baby, look at this! This is a beauty! And just for one more showcase, let's try and see how this does in a horde. Where's, uh, Orkin, Orkin. Oh, uh, that's Corpus. Here we go. I've got to get back in the swing of things. Let's try this in a group of five Bombards. Oh, that's it. Ramp up that status. Me like. I've got to, like, I definitely need to try other things, like maybe Weeping Wounds as well. But because the Condition Overlord did get nerfed, it's not as fast as it, killing as it used to be. But I'm not complaining. Those were 160 Bombards, and that is easily something that I was like that I liked like the fact that it could kill bombards that fast so anyways if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit a like subscribe because I am gonna be kicking out videos for uh, showcasing three changes of three different weapons each time so it's, I'm gonna focus primarily on non meta weapons oh I'm definitely gonna have to buy that bundle before I forget <laughs> <coughs> and in case you missed that message earlier, sorry for that cough, I have a, I had a bit of a cold and it still can't recover it fully, but if you are hyped, show, like type hashtag hype for Prisma Machete in, in the comments, because with Machete Wraith buffed as much as it is, Barrow, I hope to hell you do bring that ma machete soon, because I am curious to see how strong that, and how sexy that weapon will look, so... Please, bring it soon. Anyways, see you in the next video with a big old obligatory yates.